We're live. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Disney Crush weekly live stream. We are talking about our trip that we took this weekend. I'm Tony Ann with my co-host Dave and Veronica. We were all at Disney this weekend. We stayed at different resorts. We did different things. So between the three of us, we hit every park and um, yep. we're going to talk about that. We tried uh, just some different dining experiences and uh, got to experience different transportation options. So uh, we're going to talk about what we did together and separately. Yep. Um, and, oh my gosh, that hey hey is really obnoxious. <laughs> Hola, Tom Ellison. Hola, como esta? I want to see your shirt, Dave. You I, you didn't wear oh. it. In front, you didn't wear it when I was around you. This is this is not the one for your mom. This is from Uli. Uli. Uli this is from Oli. Oli. Oh, <laughs> Yuli, Yuli. Yeah, Uli made that. Uli Eiserman made that shirt for Dave's birthday, which hasn't really happened yet. I guess we should talk about that. Turning 60 got me feeling like, hey, hey, it looks great. Thank you. It's very nice. Yeah. What, the, the me or the shirt? Both, both. Okay, of course. that's good. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, we celebrated Dave's birthday this weekend because um, amazing thing happened. Uli, Uli works with a woman who had some DVC points that were expiring that she wasn't going to use. And they were expiring September 1st. Even though Dave's birthday is September 19th, he's turning 60. We decided to surprise him. And, and her friend generously donated these points. And we were able to surprise Dave with a... Uh, Two night stay at the Polynesian in a Lakeview Studio Villa. Yes. So and I did reap the yeah. benefits of that. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, Rachel. I'm going to say hi to Karen. Hey to Scott and Oli. Hey, Oli. Oli's here. <laughs> hey, Oli. Uh, Hello. I had to I had to send something to Uli in the mail and she she said I just want to remind you how to really spell my name. <laughs> what her name's not Oli? It's, no, it's oh, not. Oh, it's Uli? Oh. It's Uli, yes. I've been saying it wrong all this time. Yeah. How, how dare I? So, um I was going already that weekend for my mom's uh birthday. We go every year for her birthday. She was turning 87. Um and I will say, you know, with COVID I was really hesitant about going with her, with my elderly mom. We had actually canceled the trip because of it. And she called me and we canceled the trip. Poor Mandy. I called her. I said, my mom says she doesn't feel comfortable going. So Mandy went through the motion, canceled the whole trip. And then my mother called me an hour later and said she prayed about it and she wanted to go. So I had to call Mandy right back and say, did you already cancel it? And she said, yes. I was like, because she still wants to go. So we had to rebook the whole trip. So that was fun. Thank you, Karen. Really? <laughs> you guys are too nice. <laughs> well, you look like, oh, you, like, you, like you blew it out. Like you... It's just straight today. Oh, you have, it's either curly you have... or straight. Dave likes it curly, so it's usually curly, but who cares? I'm more straight. I know who cares yeah. what Dave likes. I know. So we so I got there on Thursday. We were stayed at Pop Century in a handicapped accessible room because my mom has trouble stepping over the tub. So we need the the walk-in shower. Um, and I'm gonna talk to you about this room a little bit. I didn't take any pictures of the room. It's your standard pop room, basically, but the beds. We're, we're super low to the ground because they're for wheelchair accessibility. The Murphy bed looked different on the outside because of having to go lower. So it, it had like notches grooved out of it. And it was heavier. Because I've used those Murphy beds at, at Pop in the past and at Art of Animation. No problem pulling them down. This one, it took both of us to pull the bed down and to put it back up because it was really heavy. It was more heavy than than normally. The one thing we didn't like about it is um, with the handicap rooms, 
the bathroom, everything is in the bathroom, the shower, the sink, everything. So only one person can really get ready at a time. There wasn't even a full length mirror in the room, which was kind of off putting. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't even like do my hair while she was in the shower. It was, it, there wasn't, there wasn't any mirror outside of the bathroom. So um, I found that a little annoying. Um, there was a weird smell in our room. Uh, the first day I was there, I smelled this. Yeah. Well, that's what I was doing, Dave. I smelled, it smelled like your clothes were in, were in the machine too long. And I'm doing this and I'm like, no, it's not. They, they smell great. They smell fresh. It's not me. And I'm smelling my bra and I'm taking off my pants and going to the bathroom and sit. It's not that. I, I thought I smelled. I smelled this musty mildew smell. Everyone, it wasn't all the time. It was just infrequent. Like I'd smell it every once in a while. About the second or third night we were there, I realized that the smell would get stronger when the air conditioner would kick on. And that's like, oh, it's the air conditioner. And I asked my mother, I said, mom, do you smell like mildew when the air conditioner kicks on? And she goes, oh my God, I thought it was me. I thought I smelled, I was smelling my coat. She was doing the same thing. So both of us were too embarrassed to say anything to each other. We both thought it was our clothes and it was the air conditioner. We called maintenance, they came, oh my God, it was so disgusting. The filter was caked on mold, disgusting. And I don't understand because these resorts were closed for three months. They just reopened in July. They didn't change all the air filters before they, because this wasn't like a month worth of gunk. This was gross. This was black. So I was really upset. And um, I mean, it did it, once they changed it, they sprayed some stuff in it. They disinfected it, but it was gross that we were smell that we were in there for three days with that. So you would think that would be on a a schedule, a maintenance. Well, schedule. that's what I said. I mean, the general manager called yeah. me after I got home. Oh, I think Mandy told them that I'm a podcaster, and you know what? He didn't offer me anything, so I'm not not going to tell the world what happened. Um, <laughs> He didn't say, oh, let me give you your room for free if you don't tell the world. But he didn't do that. So I'm telling the world. Um, uh, not that I would do. I'm not like that. But um, I said, don't you have a schedule? Aren't they supposed to be changed every every few weeks? Don't you go room by room and change them? And he's like, well, they're supposed to. They're on a schedule. And then I said what I just said. And before you opened the resort after a three month closure, didn't you change them all? And he's like, well, I would have thought they would have. So yeah, he really had, he really had no answers for me. It was just disgusting when I saw it. And Mandy said to me, did you take a picture? And I had, I didn't even think of that. I should have taken a picture. I wonder if they would have tried to stop me if I tried to take a picture. No, you could take a picture. That's uh, but, it's just, it's called routine maintenance. Cause I was yeah. maintenance for how many years, Bronca? Oh, I don't know. Probably 25, 30. It's probably 50 <laughs> now. <laughs> well, he is pretty yeah. old. So a long yeah. time. Mm -hmm. It was, it's called yeah. routine maintenance. It's a, it's something that just like your own house, you change it out every month and then, yeah. I just don't but, understand why, why it hadn't, it, it was a long time that one hadn't been changed. You could tell, but I'm, I regret not taking a picture of it because I would love to show you guys how gross it looked. Well, uh, Amanda, Amanda, it was even black on the back side because when they when they took it out, you saw the back side, and the back side of it was black too. So it was, it was that gross. is gross. Oh, but God. it's just funny that we were both embarrassed to say anything to each other because we thought it was uh, we each thought it was <laughs> was us, and we're like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Amanda, oh, you need now to, Brian's never staying a pop. Yeah, you need to come stay at uh, Baymont with us. That kind of okay. stuff never happens there. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh no! Top notch. Top, top <laughs> of the top of the line. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, in Florida, we have to change them pretty often. We have to change them more often than you probably do in New Hampshire, Uli. But yeah, we have a dog and a cat and a rabbit. So. Yep. Yeah, we try to change it once a month. Mm -hmm. oh. Because the air conditioner never stops here; it's constantly going, even in the winter. Florida. 
<clears throat> so, so was your hotel equally as disappointing? You stayed at Baymont, right? That's what we, we discussed last week. You stayed at Baymont. Yeah. yeah it was, at, uh, yeah. Well, well, Veronica, you want to tell me, you want me to tell them the, the, I think the worst part about, well, I'll tell them the worst part about the whole, I mean, I can't believe they put us where they did. I mean, the view was absolutely atrocious. I mean, mm -hmm. I know castle. Yeah. You, you mean uh, that view? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's I mean, the view. I kept having to sh uh, shut the shades because I couldn't take the view of the castle. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm like, are you kidding me? They put us here. Uh, well, the the thing is, we well, don't okay, usually watch crane, the fireworks. You should yeah. have you should have complained. You should have said, "There's a crane obscure, uh, you know, in my view. I don't want to see a, a crane." <laughs> I know, but we did. We wished for fireworks, and both of us are not full fireworks people. No, you know, no, you're not. We never stay the whole show. Uh, there's just whatever. But we both thought, "Wow, if there were fireworks, that would have just just been topped perfect. it off." Yeah. 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 And even the horns didn't bother us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, that, so you can, can you talk to that. Talk to those, those those fairies. Well, they of course the horn blows every time they take off and all of that. Um, but when the slider is shut in the room. It's not loud at all. In fact, when we first got to the room, Dave and mm -hmm. I kept looking around thinking it was our phone. It sounds like your phone on vibrate on a table. Okay. That's exactly what it sounds like. So we kept checking our phones and it was the horn from the ferry. So, and because they don't run late, I mean, it, mm -hmm. it wasn't any big deal. Actually for us, it was, it was just fine. We'll take that horn anytime. Trust yeah. me. I used, to, in fact, we kept the door yeah. open a lot, didn't we? Just, yep. I, I liked hearing it. It was actually got yeah. pretty cool. I want to hear it. Yeah. So, so why don't we talk about Veronica? What it took, because you were you were really worried about um, about getting Dave there without rising his suspicion. Yeah. So I had to keep talking about Baymont. Oh, I'm going to call. I need to call and let them know we're not going to be there, and you know all this. I had to go on about Baymont. That was one thing. Um, Plus, and then, of course, I had to bring you on. A right. He's attached to my Disney experience for all of us. And he and he saw, I think a couple weeks ago, he saw the Polynesian on the my Disney experience, like in, in my plans. Yes. And he you had to explain that attack. away. I'm like, well, it could be. He's like, well, I think maybe it's Tony Ann. She's going with her mom. And I'm thinking, yep, yep. And I was hoping it didn't say our name on there. And I'm. You know, but the the day we left, I wanted to do online check in, so I had to wait for him to come home from work, take a shower. When he got in the shower, I had to log him out of the app because I was afraid there would get be a text a notification, um, notification saying the room's ready or yeah. something like that. So he didn't realize he wasn't logged in. Um, and then by the time we drove there, of course, saying we were meeting you. Mm -hmm. um, at the Kona. Um, yeah, you actually Kona made a Kona reservation. That, yeah. You made a reservation for Kona Cafe to get through the guard gate without telling the guard that you were checking in. Yes, which worked out perfectly. He never asked for, he really didn't ask for any, any information. He just wanted to oh. see an ID card, you know, Good. my ID. So we got in with no problem. Um, and, and then and from and then, there, it was just a matter of him getting on Facebook and posting pictures and right. he started was posting stressing pictures. me out. Yeah. Yes. So, now this, pic this picture here, I, this picture is before I knew I had no right. idea at this point. And, and just let me go back just a little bit. There was okay. a lot of things that led up, not just the Polynesian that came up because, you know, there's other people's on our, my Disney experience app. And I thought, that are DVC owners. I'm thinking, Oh, and I just didn't hit me. I just did. I literally just scrolled past it and didn't even think anything mm -hmm. about it. I said, well, maybe Tony has taken her mom there. I didn't even think about it. It didn't mm -hmm. even phase me. Right. I got home. I got home one one day from work and my daughter meets me at the front door and says, let me see your phone. And I'm like, <laughs> what? She's like, let me see your phone. I'm like, what's the deal? So I'm like, here, take my phone. Jeez. What's the problem? She takes my phone and she's like, Okay, here. And I'm like, what'd you just do? She goes, 
I text you something. I didn't want you to see it. So in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, she texts something to her boyfriend or a girlfriend. And I probably didn't want to see that anyway. So mm -hmm. that's, I just didn't think about that. Oh, okay. And right. another thing that happened was I was at work and I'm trying to go on Facebook and I can't get on Facebook. And I'm like, what the heck? I can't get in my own group. I'm like, <laughs> you, you couldn't get into the friends of Disney crush Facebook page. And I've had problems with Facebook before and I'm thinking, okay, either I got hacked or something happened. And I, you know, I messed with it for a while. Then I went and did some work. I came back. I tried it again. It still didn't work. And finally I texted you, Tony Ann. And I said, no, I, I, no, I joined the group. I'm like, I guess you, you tried to join, to join my, the group. Mm -hmm. I'm about to join my own group. And then you text me back and said, why are you, why are you joining your own group? I said, cause I got kicked out. I don't know what happened. So all these little things that I yeah. should have figured it out were right. this close, were this close to me figuring it out. But I honestly can tell you, I had absolutely no idea. So, so what it what well, had happened was I had banned Dan. Dan, sorry, I'm just I called you Dan. What you're saying because I, I just <laughs> I had banned Dave. Unplug my from, ears. I had banned Dave from the group so that I could tell everybody in the group what we were doing that we were surprising him. And um, I was making a video and um, we were giving him a gift. And, and so I wanted to tell everybody I tried to, I had a private messenger group going, but I didn't want to forget anybody. Cause you know, you forget, you know, you're, you're clicking and I'm not, I'm, I'm not friends, Facebook friends with everybody in the group. So I, I didn't want to miss anybody. And I still miss people. I found out later. I still miss people, but, um, but so I wanted to tell the group. So I banned Dan, Dave. Why don't you call you Dan? I, banned I Dave don't know. From the group. And um, I wanted to see how long he would take him to notice. And it was about 12 hours. So the message was only up for 12 hours that we were surprising him. And I cannot believe the unbelievable response I got from this group in just 12 hours. And I said to yeah. Dave, it just goes to show the, the camaraderie that we have within this group. And if something really happened to one of us to, to, you know, to maybe Amy, maybe if she had a family emergency, I just feel like this group would come together and, and envelop her or envelop us if, if something happened to any of us. And that just really does my heart good. Cause I think, um, we, uh, no, I really did ban him, Amy. Yes. She really did. Cause, uh, we, yeah, we have just well, a lot of big hearts in this group. She banned Dave on a day where we had company at our house. So I thought maybe it wouldn't be so noticeable. So mm -hmm. my brother was here and we were at the beach all day. Well, clearly Dave is on he, Facebook. Yeah. He I mean, he I tried. He, yeah. Yeah. But, but, but I will say that once we get on to Siesta, once we get onto the beach yeah, I, in the, with the sun, I can't see my phone. So the whole time mm -hmm. I'm at the beach, which was, I mean, a good three or four hours, I wasn't on my phone because I, I just can't see it. So I just don't go on it until we're, mm -hmm. you know, back in the car or back at home, back home. So there was mm -hmm. a good span there. I, what amazes me is there was so many moving parts to this that Tony and I, I just, I can't, you know, what you did was amazing. What the crushers did, but everything, to, Tony and uh, Oli, Uli, everybody, just all the moving parts that had to pulled this off for weeks that I just never it I really never, it, we really threw it together in less than yeah, weeks it was really I fast because never Uli found said out. Uli said her friend's points were expiring and and we just ran with it and so it wasn't it wasn't even weeks I don't think yeah she knows that you're Uli yes <laughs> I know the story of the name <laughs> so um the uh one thing I do want to say, and, and Chad's been driving this home on his show for the last few weeks, that there are a lot of DVC owners in this situation where they have points that are expiring and, and what they call distress points. And if you are, if you do dream of staying at, at the Polynesian someday or, or the, or Bay Lake towers or animal kingdom law, you know, Kidani, um, really look into some of these rental sites right now because there are some amazing deals, uh, DVC rentals right now because people can't use their points and their points are expiring and they're selling, they're renting their, their points out at amazing, amazing rates. So, um, this may be your chance. This may be your time to visit one of these deluxe resorts that you've never thought you could afford. So, 
um, if you're interested, I would con I would check with Chad and see if, if you know if there's a company he recommends renting through. So I have to go back one second and just say that the text Dave got in case it, it was funny because Olivia was telling me that the magic bands came. Oh, and she sent it to you. She sent it to Dave. So that was one thing that, yeah, that's how close we came to, mm -hmm. to let, you know, to him finding out. So I was out for the day. She was on guard for the magic bands. I knew they were coming and she sent the text to Dave. <laughs> so, so originally, uh, yeah, Chad is saying now is the time to snag some confirmed deals at the DVC oh. rental store.com. There are some great deals. Cause I've, I've been looking, uh, I've been looking myself and there are some amazing deals. So originally this was what you were going to get for your birthday, Dave, this hat, that was, that was, that was all I knew I was getting you for your birthday was this hat. I'm soaking wet in this picture cause I had just ran back in the rain. So, um, that is an yeah. awesome hat. Oh, yep. Here we go. He's got his headphones on. <laughs> there you go. I saw that hat online last year. Somebody had made it for Halloween. And I asked Mandy, I said, Mandy, you think you can make this hat? And she's last year, she if I was getting it for you for Christmas, and I just it's I forgot about it. So um she uh she said, if you get the supplies, I'll make it. So finally I was able, you know. When your birthday was coming, I got the supplies. <laughs> I want you to know that we were walking through the Polynesian and one of the cast members I thought was going to uh, pee his pants when he saw it. He was so excited. And he's like, oh, my gosh, I don't have my phone. I wish I had my phone. That's the best hat I've ever seen. I can't believe it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right? He was beside himself. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, And I did wear it. I wrote on the monorail. I wrote it. I, I, yes, I mean, you wrote did. It. I, you, yeah, you did wear I, it. I wore around. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and people were yep. looking at me like I was crazy, but I don't care. Mm -hmm. You are crazy. So whatever. A little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yep. That was awesome. Thank you guys. So cool. So um, I went on Thursday to Magic Kingdom. I, I had, um, I was worried about crowds on the weekends at Magic Kingdom, and you went on Saturday to Magic Kingdom. So, can we talk a little bit about our experiences at Magic Kingdom? Because um, my experience at Magic Kingdom was that the lines weren't too bad on Thursday, and I think you had another experience on Saturday. Well, oh, look at that! This this photo pass photographer. Yeah. was so lonely. He was on the side of Cosmic Rays on the, the Fantasyland side, like across from, from the Cheshire Cat place where you get the Cheshire Cat Tales. He was over there and he where Merida normally meets. And he was so lonely that he took like a bazillion pictures of us. He was like, okay, now hold hands. Now do now do stand back to back. Now to, he was like, and my mother was like, I want to go eat lunch. I'm hungry. Oh my gosh. He kept making her pose. So that's a good picture. Yeah. So what do you think of the new ca castle colors? Um they're okay. My mother did not like it at all. She mm, hated she didn't. it. Mm -hmm. She she was like, I don't like that. It's uh, different. It's different in person. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's it yeah. definitely more vibrant in person. That mm -hmm. gold and that it, yeah, very vibrant. You know, I liked it. I mean it was good. Phyllis didn't yeah. like it. They oh. could have went. They could have went back to the candy cane, the whole candy thing. Yeah, that would have been fun. I think they've done that already. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. we wrote. We had lunch at Cosmic Rays because we just we had just arrived and she was hungry and so we did mobile ordering. the The quick service locations will not let you in until you've placed your mobile order. And it says it's ready. That for the most part, Cosmic Rays actually let us inside once we ordered, but um, most of them, the rest of the weekend, wouldn't let us in until it said you're ready, your order's ready. So um, Cosmic Rays, I just had a, a burger; it was no big deal. But that's she just was hungry. So um, now you don't rode, have the, you don't have the fixin' bar in there anymore. No, yeah, no. There's um, 
there that you can get the toppings with uh you know on the side of your burger and then there's a cast member that'll hand you condiments yeah so chad does not like the cast the castle colors either so him and my mom are good company for each other um but we went over to seven doors mine train there was a 30 minute wait it said 30 minutes and we waited about 25. I had never been in the queue for that ride before. I had always fast passed it. Um, I know that a lot of the interactive stuff in the queue that I've heard about was actually covered. You could see there was like canvas tarps over some of this stuff that I think is normally um, in the queue to keep people busy and uh, distracted during the, during the wait. So, um, so that weight was true to what it was. Basically, it said 30 and it was 25. Winnie the Pooh said 25 and it was basically a walk-on. Um, Haunted Mansion was basically a walk-on. But the the queue, did you experience the queue? Where, did they make you go down by the Liberty Bell? They made us, we, we walked in the queue and then it, right. wound, it wound around. You went down mm -hmm. by the water like where the Liberty Bell yeah. is and back up and then into the queue. So the queue, the queue took time because it was windy, but there was no wait really. You just walked right on the ride once you got through the queue. Oh, so for us, that was a posted time of 60 minutes or really. Yeah. And he said, it's going to shut down also for cleaning. So account for that. So we didn't wait. So you didn't so ride Hona Mansion? We didn't, no. we didn't, no. That's the first thing I went to. I thought I really wanted to experience that without, you know, uh, without the stretching room or, you know, mm -hmm. the whole thing, the way they've changed it. Right. But it was the middle of the day. It was hot. And when he told us that, I thought, uh, no, let's go. We'll look somewhere else. But everything was a long wait. So yeah. we, wanted, we didn't ride anything. Yeah. Everything was probably an hour wait. Mm-hmm. Or longer, yeah. Right. And then, then we um, we we had to go back to Tomorrowland. We had we I had ordered the 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 this paver for Dave uh for his birthday, and they make these in 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 Tomorrowland. So after we ate lunch, we made a beeline. It's the shop right next to the Space Mountain where you get off Space Mountain. Um, we ordered it, and then it takes an hour. So we went and rode some things, and then. We went back to pick it up, and then we went over to, uh, to Adventureland ha and had a Dole Whip and um, went to ride Pirates, but Pirates was a 40-minute wait, and it was, the line was wow. not moving, and that whole area was filled, like that, that, that area where you first walk in the queue, it was just windy, and it was just a sea of people. And I said, I don't want to wait for this line. That's, yeah. I mean, that's the beauty of being an annual pass holder, really, is that if you don't want to wait in the line, you just don't wait in the line. You just say, I'm going to be back. But um, it wasn't as empty as everybody else was posting pictures in the past few weeks. And, right. and you know, a lot of schools went back. A lot of Florida schools went back last week. So I thought maybe it would be empty again but it really wasn't. And this was on a Thursday. Now you're saying Saturday was even worse than that. And we were there about one o'clock, I think, right, Dave? Mm -hmm. Yeah. One o'clock mm -hmm. or so. Yeah. And it was, um, everything was a 60 minute wait. So we did want to do, we went over to Big Thunder. We looked at Pirates. We, you know, Haunted Mansion. We didn't make our way down through, um, you know, uh, Space Tomorrow Mountain. Land. Yeah, mm -hmm. we didn't do any of that. At that point, it, we were thinking it's hot and we have this great resort. Right. So uh, we, we left. We yeah. did go. We did go looking for um, over to Splash Mountain to check out the merchandise and found out they had not they had youth T-shirts. That was it. Oh, and youth T-shirts. Uh, we did ask about it and we found out, which, I mean, you might know this, I don't know, um, that you can purchase up to 10 items per person 
but different items. So if they have four different coffee mugs, I could get 10 of each coffee mug. So you get 40. I can get 40 total. I can get 10 of every every um, piece of merchandise there. And so, so and per people. transaction. Mm -hmm. So, and she doesn't know when they're getting anything back in. She said, we get it sporadically, but there's, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. See, so. now Jeff, Jeff just said, it seems like the park is kind of empty, but everyone is in a line. And I think he's right because yeah. there's, there's not much else going on. There's not, no, you know, there, the, mm -hmm. the shows are very limited. The dining is very limited. The, there's no parades really to speak of. The, there's the cavalcades, but those are unannounced. So yeah, everybody is in a line. Everybody that's in there is in a line. This weekend is going to be very interesting because now Saturday and Sunday, when we recorded the show last night, the podcast, I mentioned that Sunday was already grayed out, that there were no more park reservations available. As of today, Saturday is also grayed out. So this is for annual pass holders, regular ticket holders, and resort guests. Saturday and Sunday are grayed out. This is the holiday weekend, Labor Day. Wow. Anecdotally, people have told that they have been able to get reservations by doing refresh, 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 the way we used to do with fast passes. But um, in general, the park is at capacity. The parks are at capacity this coming weekend. So that'll be interesting to see what the weights are going to be like this weekend. Right. So. Yep. So I don't think I'm not So we have a reservation coming up later in September mm -hmm. for Magic Kingdom. And I'm not in a rush to return to Magic Kingdom right now. I don't know how you feel. I but, feel the same way. But they, I know you want I know you want to take Olivia because it's her favorite park, but. If I do uh, Magic Kingdom again, I will take her, surprise her on a weekday. Yeah. And go first thing in the morning, be there, maybe get a reservation um, at yeah. the Grand Floridian Cafe mm -hmm. because we really enjoyed that. And then um, take the monorail right in, but mm -hmm. early. Yeah. And, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't do late afternoon or anything like that. Right. You know. Plus, we'd, we would be done. There's not... Like you said, those extra things, they're not available, you know. Right, right. So. Well, that's what I found at Animal Kingdom. The boys and I were at Animal Kingdom when it opened at 8 when we went. And we were mm -hmm. done by noon. We had done everything. There was nothing else to do. So. Um, right. Right. No, we had no problem at the poly, huh? With lines. <laughs> but there was rain and the, the pool kept closing on you. So you went yeah. back to the pool. Well, was that the first day or the second day? No, that was Sunday morning. We went, uh, we had our morning. coffee. We took our coffee and went to the pool. It was raining, but um, no lightning or anything. So we, we stayed. That was the hot tub. Nice. Yeah. We had it all to ourselves. So we did oh. try to go in the pool uh, okay. Friday night and Saturday night, but it was full. So wow. one of the, one of the pools closes at nine. So between, you know, after nine o'clock, everyone was in, you know, one pool and one hot tub. So Dave and I looked at each other and said, well, no, not today. So. Scott, Scott just mentioned that they have a park reservation at Magic Kingdom this coming Saturday. So they'll, oh. they'll let us know how bad it is at capacity. Because, um, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see what full capacity is really like. So, well, if the wait times were all 60 minutes when we were there for all the rides and it wasn't capacity, I mean, where are they going to put the extra people? Or what are they What are they anticipating the, the wait times are going to be with? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Anna, I know. I'm, Anna's asking about a video. I'm not sure if you're asking about the video when Dave – first found out we're staying at the poly or if you're asking about the birthday the birthday video that a lot of a lot of you guys send in videos they're both on our youtube channel the disney crush youtube channel i put them both up there and they could both be seen for ev by everybody now i made them public they were secret for a little while there before i showed dave but um they're the disney crush YouTube channel is where you would find the videos for his birthday. The video for his birthday is 12 minutes long. I like watching it 
but I don't know like how other people feel about it. I I would have I would have played it now, but I think you'd probably get bored because it's just happy birthday, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. So and it would make Dave feel weird. So I don't want to yeah. do that to him again. Yeah, I do feel weird. So just <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at getting presents like that, and I'm mm, more, more much more comfortable giving than I am receiving. Uh, she might be talking about the video that we're doing tonight. It had a little glitch, so maybe that's what she's talking oh, about. Oh, okay, okay. So, so that was Magic Kingdom. I went to Hollywood on Friday from Pop Century. Now, I had gone to Hollywood with the boys two weeks ago, and I drove in. I just went for a day trip, and I was at the toll booth at 930 with the boys and waiting to be let in. I had been listening to YouTube not YouTube, Facebook, about Pop Century, because I've come from Pop, and people were saying they were getting in line for the Skyliner at 8.30 in the morning to get to Hollywood. So I said to my mother, let's get in line for the Skyliner at 8.30 in the morning. So when we got there at 8.30, there were some people in front of us, but this this actually isn't that bad, because everybody's six feet apart. So maybe, maybe there's like 30 people in front of us. Um, this was people waiting at 8.30 for the Skyliner. The Skyliner opened at 9. And once it got going, it got going. Um, this was the line behind us. We were, so we were right here where the, where the, um, where the bridge ends. And so this is people behind us. Um, when we got on the Skyliner, we could see that the line behind us went down towards the 50s. It was wrapped around. So once you get on the Skyliner, you have to go to, Caribbean Beach Resort. Mm -hmm. And when you get to Caribbean Beach Resort, there's a whole other line to get to Hollywood Studios. This line looks really long. It looks like it's a really long line, but truthfully, it's it goes really fast. It's it's the social distancing that makes it look so long. And the Skyliner is just a continuous flow of cars. So the line moved in no time. We were in Hollywood Studios um by 9:25, and I want to show you guys that people are saying drive in. People are saying drive in. If you drive in, if you're staying at a Skyliner resort, there's no reason to drive in if you get to the Skyliner early enough. Because if you drive in, you're going to be held. There were no yeah. cars getting through. I took that picture from the Skyliner. I was already in the park. And see all the cars you can see through the through the trees, the the backup of cars. Um, so if you're staying at a Skyliner resort, I really recommend using the Skyliner versus people are saying, oh, use an Uber. Well, your Uber is stuck in that pile up of cars there, trying to get you know. So um, as I found out the next morning when I tried to call an Uber right around this time, and he was stuck in that line, so. He yeah, he, yeah, he was in there somewhere, huh, Tonya? Yeah, I called an Uber to go someplace else, but he was, I could see his car was stuck in that. So that's why he wasn't coming to me. So um, so we got in the park by 925. Um, I got my mother a birthday pin while we were there. Uh, and then we headed towards Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. We were able to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway before the park even officially opened at 10 o'clock. We got off the ride at 9.50 and still had plenty of time to get our boarding group. So if you get there early enough, you can ride you can ride this if it's open before it's even time to get a boarding group, which is what we did. Um, at 10 o'clock, the boarding groups went live. I did see what people have been talking about now. In the past, like uh, I have this huge list of friends and family and I have to would have to go through it and find the people that I wanted to ride with. Now, the people that are in the park with you show up at the top clicked already, which is nice. Oh, it's not. Yeah, so you, that's don't, nice. you don't have to go through. your. So yep. if the person's in the park, their names appearing at the top already clicked. So um, we were able to get boarding group 40. I was so excited. We got boarding group 40 and the ride didn't open 
all day. <laughs> it didn't open. At 1.47, as I'm leaving the park to go back to Pop Century, I look and they had just started letting people ride at 1.47. So, um, yeah, it was one of those days where the ride was broken most of the day. We did eventually get to ride, so I'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. But My mom thought Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway was okay, but she much prefers the great movie ride, she said. She said, it. the great movie ride was longer. It was. It was a longer ride. So, hmm. um, One thing we experienced for the first time was this Disney Society Orchestra. They perform several times a day. It looks like eight performances a day, almost every hour. The show's about 15 minutes long. And um, they do songs based on rides, attractions, movies that are related to Disney, Disney's Hollywood Studios. So they play Star Wars music. They play Monsters, Inc., um, Toy Story, You've Got a Friend in Me, Little Mermaid, things, things related to Muppets, the Muppets theme. Uh, so all songs that you would are related to things that are in Hollywood studios. Um, you see the guys are all spaced out six feet apart. So it was, it was a really good show. It was, uh, it was about 15 minutes long. The seating was socially distanced. They had every other row. And then as you were discussing on the podcast last night, Veronica, yep. the seat says, don't sit here. <laughs> right. So, so you could only sit where there was no, where there was nothing saying not to. So you pretty much got, there were just two families to a row and they were spaced out by six feet. So, and it was a really good show. It was, they were really, really good. I was, and I did put that live on our friends of the Disney crush Facebook page when I was, while we were watching it. So some people did watch it with me. We had lunch at Hollywood Brown Derby. And we talked about this last night, Veronica, the, um, the menus are, mm -hmm. They give you QR codes, so you scan your phone, and then you can bring the menu up on your phone. Uh, we go to Hollywood um, Hollywood Brown Derby for lunch because it's actually not that crazy price wise at lunchtime. Um, other than the forty fifty dollar fillet, uh, they have. Um, I don't know, Uli, if it's the orchestra from the Grand Floridian. I'm not sure. It might be. But you see, they have $18 Cobb salad, $24 Wagyu burger, uh, $19 chicken breast sandwich. So it's not too crazy. I mean, compared to, you know, a quick, serv a quick service burger is $15. So this is a Wagyu burger and, you know, on a brioche bun with an egg. And so, you know, and you're sitting inside in the air conditioning and you're being served. So um, you're getting kind of a signature experience for not a whole lot of money. I got the Cobb salad, which is eighteen dollars. It is really good, and yeah, it looks um, really good. Yeah, it's 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 all chopped up. My mom got the shrimp and grits, which she also really liked. So, and they did bring her a piece of birthday cake, the grapefruit cake. Uh, the picture I took of it didn't come out. Um, she was not impressed by the Hollywood Brown Derby's world famous grapefruit cake. That was not her bag. So, um, so after that, we went back to our room and we said, "Well, I don't know if we're going to get to ride Rise of the Resistance or not." It was it was like one thirty. We started walking out, and as we got on the Skyliner, I looked at my phone. It was one forty seven, and the ride had opened up again. We were boarding group forty, so I figured we had time. We went back to the room. Uh, for a little while, about two hours, and then went back to Hollywood. That's the beauty of the Skyliner. If the, if it's not raining, we were lucky. It was not raining when we did when it was time for us to go back. If it had been raining when it was time for us to go back, we may not have made it in time for our boarding group. So that's something you got to keep in mind if you leave the park. If you're if mm -hmm. you're depending on the Skyliner, um, the Skyliner both times we used it was closed when it was time to come home at night. So uh, that was a problem. She said she liked Star Wars Land. I don't her. know. Look at her just chilling out. I don't mm. know. So, 
but we did finally get to see the, the, the beginning of the ride, which if you remember the first time I rode the ride, I missed the whole pre-show. I had no clue how we got captured because that part of the ride was broken and they, they put, they ran me in through a bush and brought me into the stormtrooper room. And that was, that was all I knew was when I was at the stormtrooper room the last time I rode it in January. So now I finally got to see the whole story and wow. It's a, that's, I mean, that was a good 20 minutes that I had missed Yeah, out of the ride. So, yep. She was not impressed with dinner that night. We ate at Docking Bay 7. She had a grilled chicken salad, and I had the Andorian tip yip, <laughs> which is chicken that they press into a rectangle. And it was, it was dark and white meat. It was very dry. It was just weird. So a chicken, was, a chicken patty is what you're saying. It was strange. Yeah. Chicken should not be rectangular. No. And she, she told me she liked that chicken salad. And the next day she told me she didn't like it. So I don't know. I don't know. She, she, didn't, want, she didn't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah. Cause I, cause I went in the back and cooked it. It wasn't hurting my feelings. So, <laughs> so the thing about the buses, um, Hollywood studios bus, uh, because the Skyliner was down, everybody was waiting on a bus. I did mention this in the podcast when we recorded last night. We had to wait for the fifth bus because there were so many people. Um, we had to wait for the fifth bus to come. And luckily, they are sending a lot of buses. They're sent Because they're only allowing maybe 20 people on a bus, they're sending the buses very frequently, and they're often sending two at a time. So even though this looks like you'd be waiting hours, you really weren't. So that was yeah. good. So did you guys take any buses while you were there? We did. We took one bus um, Saturday night. Saturday night, we wound up having dinner at the Grand Floridian mm -hmm. Cafe. We mm -hmm. went back there for dinner and it was wonderful. I mean, it was good. And then um, when we left there, it was about 9.15, and we found out that the monorail stopped at 9. Mm -hmm. So the resort monorails shut down at 9 o'clock. Okay. And, um, you know, not realizing really where we were as far as, you know, how close we were yeah. to our – we didn't realize there was a walkway right to um, the, the Polynesian pond. from – right, right. Mm -hmm. um, there was an older gentleman out front with um, – what is it like a um a cart? A golf, golf cart, cart a, Dave. A, what is a it? A large a large cart, uh, golf cart with like three rows in it, so uh -huh. you could take quite a few people. Yeah. yeah, he said he would take us, but he was um he was working with the NBA that night, oh, so he wow. couldn't. So he couldn't take us, but he he pointed out the path to us, and um, just as we started walking down the path. Uh, he yelled back to us. A bus pulled up, so I they had buses running the resort loop. Oh, nice. Rather than the monorail. So we got on that. Um, we got on there. We were, it was just really us and one family. One that was couple, it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the bus driver, the bus drivers right that now, if you haven't been on the bus yet, they do tell you where to sit before you get on the bus. They might yeah. say, okay, so you're going to sit on number your, your family is number five. And you, so you would sit at section five here again, you've got the seats that are marked. Do not sit here. <laughs> Do not sit here. Yeah. Um, and this is what it looks like. This is, We were sitting in the back of the bus. There's all these partitions between the families. So um, yep. it's, a, it's a little strange. But I think Dave probably prefers having partitions. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And we met. Uh, uh, I, I would take that bus anytime. And we actually met a really cool couple on the bus. They had three kids with them. And they're from Boston. Mm-hmm. Um, do you remember their names? It was Tom and Claire, or do you remember? Uh, I'd have to look at my phone. I wrote it down. I don't remember off, offhand. No. So Friday was the night that that was Friday. That was the night that you that you guys came and you you ate at Kona Cafe that night. You didn't you didn't yeah. give me you didn't take any pictures, but you told me a story about your sushi. Yeah, go ahead, Dave. You want to tell the story about the sushi? Oh, no, go ahead. <laughs> well, I'll just say that we love sushi. 
Mm -hmm. Let's just start with that. So we never have a problem with sushi, but, but when we were eating it, we were sharing it. It was a California roll made with, um, real lobster. I mm -hmm. mean, it was nice and avocado, <laughs> But uh, there was something so hard whoa, in the sushi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, first, back up just a little <laughs> bit. We 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 ordered the the sushi. It came with cucumbers, and we don't do oh, cucumbers. Yeah. Okay. So we did. So we asked, could they just take the cucumbers out? Okay. Okay. So they did that. Well, and they brought it to us, but they did not take the cucumbers out. Oh, okay. So, right. so we uh, and she said, no problem. I'll get them to redo it. Okay. So now, go ahead. So I'm eating my sushi and there was something, I bit into something really hard and um, I thought, okay, well, uh, whatever. But then I thought, well, I better see what it is because I didn't know if it was plastic or something yeah. really hard. Well, it was avocado. So I told Dave, I'm like, look at this avocado. It is so hard. It was like, I'm telling you, you couldn't hardly break it with a fork. Wow. Yeah. So, um, we, we just, hang on. Did you tell the server? We told the server at the end, we, what happened is we took the avocado out and pretty much ate the rest of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you guys love avocado. We love avocado yeah. and all of that. And when we told the server, she wasn't surprised at all. It's like, she's heard that before in the same night. She was like, oh yeah, I know. Uh, you know, I know they're really hard right now and all and why this, do you so. keep using them if you don't have a good product. I, that's exactly what we said. <laughs> so she wound up not charging us for it. We didn't mm -hmm. realize that, but when we got the bill, we realized it was pretty low and okay. I asked her about it. Um, because I thought maybe they forgot to put something else on the bill or whatever. Right. She said, no, I just didn't charge. I didn't charge it for the sushi. So what else? So did you that get was nice, sushi? but what else did you get besides the sushi? We got a BLT, um, an, uh, no, uh, Mahi Mahi tuna. Okay. Uh, ma no, Mahi Mahi BLT. Okay. However, it was like, um, deconstructed. So okay. it was a, a large bed of lettuce, a little, uh, seafood on top with some bacon and tomato. And actually it was pretty good. We shared that. So now, I've, uh, I've, been, good. I've been to Kona a couple of times mm -hmm. and people, people, rave about Kona. They love Kona. I've, I've never been blown away by Kona. I've, I've never, I don't know. I, I've had okay experiences, but nothing that would make me run back there ever. But I know like it's, um, it's really hard to get a reservation there right now. It's one of the hardest reservations to get right now for breakfast and dinner. So, right. Hmm. I had to work to get the reservation. That's hmm. true. Um, again, I needed it to get into the Polynesian. Right. So, I work to get it. And um, now I've been there with my mom before and we've had lunch and it's been fine. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, um, okay. but I don't know if I would go back. I mean, it just wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, did, yeah we did get it. Uh, also, we did get a kid meal to go. A kid cheeseburger meal to go. Uh, <laughs> I, have, I think I have that picture because you guys wanted yeah. a midnight snack. Well, we just didn't know. We had no food. Yeah. So about, yeah, so we went back to the room, um, later on in the night, we opened up the box for our midnight snack and that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. So that's basically a slider. It was a slider. Yeah. Okay. Actually though, at that time in the morning after drinking, it was perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. It was actually pretty good. Yeah. I know it was real. It was grilled. Okay. So, I mean, well, no good. complaints. No complaints. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I yeah, know. I would have rather two of those than the sushi. Never mind. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Amanda, yeah. We just uh Veronica just noticed that the bill was low. And so we were like, well, hang on, they must have forgot something. So we did want to make sure that, you know, we weren't yeah. You know, so that's how that went. But yeah, we yeah, we always tip well. We're good tippers. Yep. So um so you went back to your room. Yeah, you had some, yeah, you ha really had a great view, and you were in we you were in a Lakeview studio in the Mor the Moria building. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, we we parked very close. I mean, it it really was perfect. So yeah. 
Oh yeah, Dave's huge hand. No, the it was pretty small. <laughs> yeah, it's a trash can. Yeah. Yep. Very nice though. There was nobody on the beach that was vacant. There was hardly anybody around. And so. you said you said there was nobody in in those bungalows. I don't know no. if it's that people just aren't spending the points because those bungalows are a lot of points, or if they're not using it. I don't know. Yeah, there was uh, nobody. Not one person. So they're probably, uh, I don't know. They're very well, expensive. I did, I, I did. I did see one night late at night. I did see one uh, raccoon. So he was there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So, do you take any landscaping tips from? Because uh, you love landscaping, Dave. Well, I mean, yeah, I want that in my backyard for sure. <laughs> yeah. That will work. It's a beautiful. You know, it's beautiful there. Yep. It's to me, it reminds me of Animal Kingdom in a way. So, yeah, yeah, it's kind of got that vibe a little bit. Mm -hmm. A lot of good foliage and. So we talked last night about that they're changing the the theming to Moana, but mm -hmm. I think they're just Veronica and I were talking about it. We I, we think they're just going to take the color schemes and and that, and I don't think it'll it'll be over the top or anything. So the next morning we were meeting for breakfast. This is Saturday morning now. So we were meeting for breakfast at the Grand Floridian. We had a reservation for 9.30. I called for an Uber at like 8.40 and um, guy picked up my, my ride, said he'd be there in eight minutes and I could watch on my Lyft app. It was Lyft. I could watch on my Lyft app that he, I could see where his car was. He was in that line that we, I showed you before. He was waiting to get into Hollywood Studios. He must have had a fare right across the street because Disney Hollywood Studios is right across the street from Pop Century now, the new, the new entrance that they put in. It's pretty much right across the street. So he was very close to me, so they, they assigned my fare to him, not realizing that his car wasn't moving. So he was stuck in this. And it just says eight minutes, 20 minutes go by. And it still says your ride is eight minutes away. And he hadn't moved. I'm texting him, please, if you're stuck in, in, please drop my, drop my fare. So somebody else can pick me up. And he wouldn't, he was ignoring me. So, so I wound up being about 20 minutes late for breakfast and we had some friends waiting for us. We had, um, the Daves were waiting for oh. us. And that was total surprise to, to you, Dave. You didn't know they were going to yep. be there. No, that's and a good I, picture. That's a I, great picture. Yeah. I know. I think they had to slip by us and we never saw them. And nope. they were dressed Disney crush to the hill. I they know. Both. I know. Never saw. <laughs> and there's you. So you were yep. you so tell tell everybody what you said about the about the Grand The Grand Floridian was spooky because there yep. is nobody there. Mm -mm. There there's yeah. there, there was nobody. The rest, you know, the Grand Floridian Cafe is open. I know the NBA is still staying there in part of the, in part of the resort. The lobby itself, there was nobody there. Tell everybody what you said the Grand Floridian reminded you of, Veronica. The Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> I said it was spooky, but, you know, just the decor and all, and to be totally empty. Yeah, it was a little spooky. Yep. It, re it really, it re really was. Yeah. There was, Look, there was no one. Nope. Nobody in that lobby. No. Mm -mm. So. I know. I don't know. Yeah. So we had breakfast. I don't, is this picture from your breakfast or from your dinner? Um, Did you have the same thing? I don't know. No, um, no dinner. We didn't have the shrimp at dinner. That okay. had to be breakfast. Okay. Yeah. We, I, we don't have any pictures of what we had for breakfast, but the interesting thing that I tell everybody at the grand about the grand Floridian, the grand Floridian cafe is that from 7am to 2pm, it's a brunch menu. You can order a cheeseburger or you can order French toast. It's, it's, um, yep. it's, all day long, uh, it's brunch until two two p from seven a.m. to two p.m. So you guys yeah. actually did order shrimp cocktail <laughs> for breakfast. Uh, but yeah. I I I love it was the presentation. great. I love the presentation of that shrimp cocktail because it's not like you know a couple of no. shrimp in a cup with some cocktail and, sauce. And I don't remember what was on the menu, but there was a light sauce on that shrimp. You don't really see it, mm -hmm. um, but it was very good. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was some kind of vin vinaigrette, but the, I uh -huh. can say that the avocado was amazing. It was perfectly. <laughs> it was perfect. It wasn't like Kona Cafe. Mm -mm. No. It was great. Uh, yeah. We have decided that that is our new favorite now. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like I like the Grand Friend Cafe. You know, yeah. it's it's a great place. You know, I know right now the parks are closing earlier and stuff, but it is a great place to go on your Magic Kingdom day. If you want to get out of the heat, if you just take the boat over or the monorail right now, there's no boat, the monorail, I guess, but, um, it's a nice respite and it's, a, it's, I've never been disappointed with the meal I've had there. So, and it's not outrageously right. priced. It's the prices are for Disney. It's not crazy priced. Right. So, nope. So we, we did have breakfast with our friends and, um, Yep. And that's where Dave found out about all his pre about all his presents and he got to watch his video and and I got to make him feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to say about that. Yes, uh I was uh very very uncomfortable to say the least, but I was very appreciative. Just yes. the outpouring of love and friendship, it was just amazing and I can't thank all of you guys enough. I just was blown away. Just so. very, yeah, very, you're a humble guy, Dave. So that's all for you. Yeah. It's hard for you to be the center of attention. So, um, yeah. but yeah. we had a nice breakfast. And, yeah, it was and, wonderful. Uh, yep. And then we went back to, you, you wanted to show off your swanky sweet to me. And mm -hmm. I, I yep. I didn't care about the rain shower. I didn't care. I I went straight for the balcony. I was like, okay. She did. Yeah. Pushed right past us and went right for that balcony, didn't she, Veronica? Yep, she sure it, did. Yeah. I, I was blown I away by that room. Hey, Tony, before we get any further, um, yeah. you know, we were talking about the Daves, how amazing that was that they came. It was a total surprise. And mm -hmm. me and uh, Veronica and I were lucky enough to meet them in Hollywood studios for a while mm -hmm. and had a great time with them. Just amazing people. Uh, well, guess what the Daves are doing now? I yep. heard. They got a podcast. Yeah. So if you guys have, yep. I know they're on Stitcher, I believe, and Spotify, and Spotify. And, and they'll be getting on the rest of iTunes um, all and all the, other, all the other platforms mm -hmm. where you can get a podcast, I'm sure. So check them out. Yeah, Mickey absolutely. File Podcast. Yeah. I've yeah. actually, I've listened to episode one already. Oh, wow. I have. And it was very good. So yeah. they're going to do great. They're going to do great. Yep. So congratulations, Dave. Awesome. That's Way to awesome. go. Good luck. We went back to your yep. room. I don't think my mother wanted to leave your room because it was a nice, comfortable chair. I will say something about I will say something about the chair I was sitting on. It had some kind of nasty stuff on it. So I don't know what that was about. I don't know. Isn't he cute? Yeah. I know. I told you they're going to replace that lamp with Maui when they go to Moana. Hey, you know make, what then? They're make, they need to make one of these, a lamp out of this. That would be cool. Yeah. Tony hey, Ann, hey, hey. Once, once they do the refurbishment, then you check your shop um, up in your neck of the woods and mm -hmm. we could, we'll buy some of those lamps. Okay. Because they'll be selling them. I'm sure. That's right. Probably $10 each <laughs> or something. Yep. We'll have to get some. So yeah, I will tell you one thing I did notice about um, when we were leaving my mom and I, when we were leaving and went down the elevator, um, it, it needs a little love that building. The, the elevator was, was scuffed inside. There was like wallpaper peeling, I, we noticed. So mm -hmm. um, that building needs a little love. You didn't think so, Dave? Or No, I was I'm just shaking my head because Amber said you guys didn't leave all the alcohol in the room this time. No, I was there. So I made sure the alcohol went so no, back. No alcohol gets left behind when Dave's around. No. no. Was there any the left, suitcase. Dave? There was a little bit left. So, <laughs> But what was left went back in the suitcase. Yeah. I do have to say this about the hotel before I forget. You know, you always hear about people saying, um, you know, they buy these candles that smell of these hotels and yeah. smell of rides and all. And when Dave and I were walking through after about the third time, I, I was like, 
oh my gosh, you know what? Now I could see why people yeah. would buy a candle, even though it smells like cleaner, honestly, like a, yeah. like a good, you know, fabuloso or something. Yeah. But I could totally see why you would buy uh, something that is the same scent yeah. to bring home with you. Yeah. I totally can I, get that. I have the essential oil, um, the oil for the diffuser for yeah. the from Magic Candle Company for the Polynesian. So you it do? smells good. Yeah, it smells good. Oh. I, know that it's, I don't know if it smells like the Polynesian or not, but it smells good. My favorite hotel smell is the Swan. That's my favorite hotel smell. I just love I've that. never been in there. I have mm -hmm. never been in the Swan. So, so you guys did go, we did part ways at that point. And mm -hmm. um, I did want to tell a story about um, the, the Epcot monorail is not running. So we had to take a bus from, from your resort, from Polly to Epcot. And um, we waited a while for an Epcot bus. There were two Animal Kingdom buses, two Disney Springs buses before an Epcot bus came. And when the Epcot bus came, it said Jiminy Cricket on it. And the driver started to pull away. And then some woman came up with her, like her uh, scooter and he stopped and he asked her where she was going. And she said, Epcot. And he said, oh yeah, this is Epcot. And we're all like, what do you mean it's Epcot? It says Jiminy Cricket. Like, he, And he's pointing. He's like, no, it says Epcot. Dude, it said Jiminy Cricket. It does not say Epcot. So I don't know. Wow. But apparently Jiminy Cricket is code for Epcot. So. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but that was, yeah. Well, also on the monorails, they're still telling people to get off at the, uh, you know, to get on the Epcot monorail. Oh, yeah. The, the recording. The, they haven't changed the recording. Nope. Yeah. The Epcot monitor was closed and Scott and Karen, yeah. we were talking about it at breakfast. Um, Epcot is under a lot of construction. That center, that center uh, part of future world is all blocked off. And what Scott was saying is he, he thinks, and I think he's right now that, that I've been to Epcot too. I see what he's talking about. The monorail goes around and I think, you would see behind that barricade and either they don't want you to see because of optics and they don't want people taking pictures and pictures getting out, or there's a real safety concern that they don't want the monorail going through while there's workers in there. What, you know, for one reason or another, I think it has to do with the construction and where, where the construction is happening. So. Yep. So you went to magic kingdom and I, and I went to Epcot. Um, Scott and Karen went to Epcot about two hours before me because we said goodbye to them and they went to Epcot and and you you guys we hung out a little while longer. Um, Scott and Karen were there right at park at kind of at park opening for Epcot and told told us that there was a thirty five minute wait to get into the land just to get into the building, not even to ride Soren or living with the land, just to get into the building itself. There was a thirty five minute wait. I got there around 1.30 and walked right in. And Soren, uh, living with the land was a walk-on, and Soren was 20 minutes. So um, wow. I really do think, I know you didn't have that experience at, at Magic Kingdom, but I really am seeing that the lines are shorter later in the day for most of the parks. It was for me at Hollywood, and it was for me at Epcot. So. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, Veronica uh, had a nice tiara on. Oh. I can't tell you how many compliments she got on that, too. Everywhere we went, they were compliments. Oh, hey, princess. I love you, Tiara. Oh. They have to do that, Dave. <laughs> Every Everywhere we went. All the housekeepers in the Poly Polynesian just were loving her. It was, yeah. It's getting a little old. I mean, nobody was paying attention to me at all. You know, it's my birthday. You should have wore your hey hey hat more. You would have got a mm. lot right. more attention. Right. I got right. I again um I wore my alien swirling saucer shirt at Hollywood Studios um in the evening when I went back. I changed and um cast members love that shirt. Cast members other guests don't don't get it, they don't say anything, but cast members, oh oh I love your shirt. I love your shirt. So yeah, we had a cast member on a monorail that just loved it. She was, mm -hmm. I, I just love that shirt. I love it. I love it. But then we were in uh, Animal Kingdom and we did have a a guy walk by us. And I don't know how he could read it because he walked by so quick. He's like, I love your shirt. <laughs> so, 
So Scott's saying that the Mexico had a line outside as well. Yeah, I didn't experience any of that. I was about two hours behind you. So um, wow. Epcot, you can you can't really see behind the construction walls, but they have put they have put this out. This is a the new kind of visual for Epcot. So that's it's kind of behind a barricade, but you can see it poking out the top. So we did drive past the cove which is now going to be called the Swan Reserve. So construction is coming along on that. That's the the Swan Reserve is the new name. So I will tell you that at Epcot, all of the flower and garden merchandise is 30% off. So this orange bird was originally $29. It was 30% off. And then I got an additional 20% off for annual pass holders. So I think with tax it was seventeen dollars. So if you if if you're interested in any of the flower and garden merchandise, you should go now. What are you pointing at? I think she, he's mine. <laughs> she wants that. Yes, I got it. Yeah, it's for her. I bought it for her. Yay. So, um. So I so I know you guys. You said you you went back to Grand Floridian for dinner that night. We did. Uh, I don't even know what I ate. Do you remember, uh, Dave? Yeah, we we had. And no, we have no pictures. <laughs> no, we we we. we uh, uh, oh, I know we ate. Oh, we had. I think. Report, guys. I know. No, we. <laughs> well, you know, we might have had a. Just a few. Um, Just a few. We <laughs> we had the. Yep. No, wait. What do we have, honey? We had the shrimp again. We we had that shrimp cocktail again, and we had salmon. Okay. An amazing uh, miso oh, salmon. Miso oh, crusted, okay. nice. right? Salmon. Yeah. Yes, it's miso coming salmon. back to me. <laughs> it's kind of. And, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and we, we did take a. We took. Oh, sorry, Dave. Go ahead. No, no. I, I was. We took a uh, again, uh, as the other night. At Kona, we <laughs> took a little ham. We took a hamburger. I wish I had. Yeah, that's the, your, that's your lobster thermo to a burger, right? It doesn't do it justice because that, that thing picture doesn't do it justice. No, no, it's amazing. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a that was probably the next morning because we, mm -hmm. um, we didn't you get to it. Breakfast. We ate it for breakfast, and it was actually really good for breakfast. We did. It was good. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. You guys are funny. We we um we didn't have reservations at Epcot that night, and it had started raining. I wanted to get mom inside. We went into the uh, uh, taste of the food and wine festival exhibit hall over there between Canada and England. Um, and it was packed with people because it was raining. Nobody was leaving. So I didn't feel comfortable with her in that building. It was just too many people. So we got out of that building back out into the rain and I wanted to find her someplace inside to eat. And we wound up going to Regal Eagle Smokehouse. And it was actually really good. This was her. She had the ribs. There's a, It's actually four ribs total. They're, they're stacked on top of each other. It's hard to tell in that picture. And I had the pulled pork, which doesn't look like much. It looks like, but it was good. It was really good. It was, it's a big improvement over what had been there before. Um, any news on Remy? No, no news on the Ratatouille ride. I don't know when that's going to open. I think that they're going to have to wait till all this COVID stuff is over because people are going to rush there and there's going to be a whole issue with crowds. So I think that might be why they're waiting. So we'll have to see. But we liked it. I asked her. That was the one meal that I asked her and she said, oh, yeah, I really like that. So. Um, she did like the ribs because she didn't like she didn't like the uh, Endorian tip yip. That's for sure. That I before. Uli Uli doesn't like the. Uh, oh, you don't like the burger? Wow, we thought it was amazing. We warmed it up in the in the microwave just just a little bit. Um, the French fries didn't heat up so. No, the French fries so were well. no good. No, but no, that burger was yeah. good. Yep. One thing, one thing, one thing I wanted to mention was um, it was really convenient for me. And you had one too. You had your mask around your neck uh, on a like 
eyeglass chain. I had mine. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, they're selling them on Amazon. If you look up fat, uh, face mask, I don't know, lanyard or something. So yeah, it was convenient because then when I would, when I would have a meal, I would just take it off and wear it around my neck. Um, it was convenient when I would sit on a bench to take a drink of water. I would just kind of take it down. And the one I had has like a toggle in the back that you could tighten and loosen. So um, if you're coming to the parks, I think it's a great idea. And I actually yeah. am now for Michael, because Michael went back to school. Michael has to wear masks. I'm actually using those for him. I'm putting it so that he his mask is around his neck so he doesn't lose his mask. So if you... I have a 20 year old toddler, Michael, but if, if, if you have a, a, a young kid going to school and they have to wear masks, I think it's great because they have it around their neck so they don't lose their mask. And then you put it, you know, over your ears and wear it like normal. So yeah, she's a native New Englander who doesn't like seafood. Mm. So, Oh man. We so had, me and we mom, had, uh, we had salmon tonight. Me and mom, actually, I forgot to show, but I've showed this before. She had to have her duck for her birthday. That's what we had Thursday night. I forgot to mention that. I missed that picture. I didn't mention that. Um, now, how were your toiletries at Polly? Were they in individual or were they in the pumps? Mm -mm. Individual. Yeah. And I, mm -hmm. they were individual. Okay. So at Pop, you know, we have the pumps. So in yeah. order to show that they've been cleaned, they had a, a plastic bag over the top of them that said cleaned. So you knew they had been cleaned and the remote control had a little plastic baggie. Did your remote control have a little plastic baggie? Yes. Yeah. Were you trying to show us up, Tony? No, Ann? no I just wanted I to always had people. a baggie too. I just <laughs> wanted people to know some of the cleaning measures that they're doing. Yeah. 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 Um, we we um we went home the next morning. Uh we were tired. That that walk from Epcot um was a lot for mom. So we went home the next morning. But you guys decided to stick it out, and you, you, that's where we had some pictures of you guys at the pool. Yeah, it was us and the duck. <laughs> that is, like, got to be the luckiest duck in the world. Oh, that's what we said. Yeah, he was finding little pieces of food, I guess, and he was having a great time. And he lives well, at the pond. Yeah. yeah. He, he was yeah. over. He was at the hot tub with us, He kept, and then we walked over to the pool. He followed us over there. Obviously, he gets fed, so he was thinking yeah. we were going to – Oh, there I am zinning right there. You see my yeah. zin? Yeah, that's I the see. zin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Dave zinning. Yeah. So, but you decided, I mean, you had a bad experience at Magic Kingdom. You wanted to give the parks one more try, right? So, well, right. we came, we came very close to not going, huh, Veronica? Yep. Well, just because of the time, it was like, well, you know, we need to get on the highway. So how many hours are we going to get there? That whole thing. And then we decided, you know what? Let's do it. We're just going to, we're going to go for it. Rain the whole time. Well, most of the time, even there in that picture, mm -hmm. I believe it's drizzling. Mm -hmm. um, but we had a great time there. So we were just so happy. So we how were the weights at Animal Kingdom on a Sunday? Um, well, not bad. Dave rode, um, is it Yeti? What's the real name for Yeti? Expedition Everest. Expedition, Expedition Everest. Okay. And he, that she was probably about a half hour. No, I don't ride that. I did once. Uh, and, well, it was bad. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not even that long. Maybe less uh -huh. than 30 minutes. How many people yeah. were on the train, yeah. Dave? How many, how were they filling the seats? Cause I had the train all to myself when I rode. No, there was quite a few people. Um, they were skipping every other seat though. Mm-hmm. So, and of okay. course, when you, when you get off the ride, you can't go up and look at your pictures anymore. So right. you don't, oh, so they, they okay. don't want that crowd in there. Right. Um, but there was a few people on the ride. Yeah, there was, yeah, okay. they, they were skipping other, every other seat though. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you yep. did, um, you did flight of passage. And then we did flight of passions and it did say a uh, 40 minute wait. And it took us, we actually timed it on our, on our phone and it was about mm -hmm. 25 minutes. Yeah. But by the, but when we did, when we got off the ride, uh, it had switched to 25 minutes. So I don't know okay. what happened in that All interim. Right. So it just yeah. started moving. Line just started yeah. moving. And right. then we were, and then we were going to go on, um, uh, the Navi river ride. Mm -hmm. 
and it was about a 40, 45 minute wait. And it was still kind of, we were pretty wet by then still, and we needed to get home and we figured, you know what, we're going to come, we'll be back. Okay. So we opted just to, to, uh, head home. But you did have lunch and Veronica hinted to me that you weren't happy. Well, you know, that's not, that's a terrible picture. It, it, it's kind of blurry. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a little bit blurry. Uh, we were just disappointed. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's changed from when we first started going uh, five or six years ago, and the price has changed quite a bit. Okay, I think. So, in case people don't know, we're talking about Yak and Yeti, and Dave's favorite for the longest time while he tuna nachos, and I'm not mm -hmm. seeing very many nachos. It looks like a salad on, on top of, and I'm not seeing but very much tuna either. Yeah, if you see well. Yeah, because you can tell from previous pictures I've had of it yeah. over the years, it's a little bit it different. It was chock full of tuna in the past. Yeah, and the and the chips are different, uh, and the price is different. Like I just mentioned, it was fourteen ninety nine, I think, when we first started going. Yeah. Five or six years ago, and it's, now it's eighteen ninety eight. So it's basically uh -huh. nineteen dollars. Um, yeah, it's just it's just changed. I I understand things changed, yeah. but that's okay yeah. because we found a new favorite restaurant, and it's the Grand Floridian Cafe. Did you have to wait? Um, did you have to wait? That's your pink Himalayan, mm -hmm. which is my favorite yeah. drink too. I love pink Himalayans. Um, yeah. Did you have to wait a long? I, you had a reservation. You didn't use your Landry's card, or we had. Well, I called the the restaurant direct. I could mm -hmm. not get a reservation on the app, so I did call um, them directly, and they gave uh -huh. me a one o'clock reservation. Um, and we waited about 10 minutes, yeah, 10 or 15 minutes or so. 15. Not long. Did you happen Not to notice long. people were coming in with their Landry's cards? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I, and they did note that I was a Landry uh, member as well. So when we, mm -hmm. when they, um, you know, when the waiter came, he asked, are you a Landry select and all of that. So we went through all that as well, but they are have, seating those people. Now, did they give you a birthday credit? Because your birthday yeah. was in August. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Okay. They did. And I was surprised actually because um I forgot all about it. Yeah. So it was a nice surprise, actually. So yeah, yeah. we both did. If you don't, yeah. Yeah. If, if you if you don't know, Landry's Select Club, uh, that's good for Yak and Yeti, um, Rainforest, T Rex, Bubba Gump over at Universal, Landry's, and many other locations around the country. Um, it costs twenty five dollars to join. It's one time. You you pay the twenty five dollars. I've been a member for five years. I paid twenty five dollars five years ago. So just once, mm -hmm. and and every they give you a twenty five dollar credit immediately when you join, and then every year on your birthday they give you another twenty five dollar credit, and it's good until the fifteenth of. It's good your entire birthday month up until the fifteenth of the following month. So Veronica's birthday was in August. Well, it was still August when you went, so right. But that credit would have been good till September fifteenth, but right. However, I I forgot about forgot it. About I didn't that. mention it. So, however, they pull it up in the system. They they applied it. That's so, great. Yeah. Well, that was a nice surprise, at least, even though you were disappointed with your meal. It so, was. <laughs> yeah. I know. All right. Yeah. Well, so you're going back to the Grand Floridian Cafe. We are. Okay. I think I we talked about everything. We've been talking for an hour and 23 minutes tonight, guys. So it was quite a whirlwind weekend. I do want to mention one more thing that okay. Dave forgot about walking up to, um, we got to, um, animal kingdom and we're walking because now there's no tram and, oh, yeah. um, yeah, no tram. There's no tram. No. And, um, we didn't, Totally forgot, but Dave had no face mask on oh, the whole way. And we get up to security. They're doing our temperature. He goes, um, you, it's probably a good time to put that mask on. Don't you think? And Dave was like, oh my gosh. So totally walk the whole way from the car well, without it. No one said anything. I didn't even notice. I was like, you, oh, had, well, you had it on your person. You didn't leave it in the car. Yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. no, yeah. I, no, yeah. I had it. I had it in my pocket. I just well, something range. similar happened with Michael at Hollywood two weeks ago. Um, I took him in the companion restroom and he took his mask off. And um, but from now on, he's going to wear one of those neck lanyards so his mask never comes. He took his mask off in the bathroom and 
we went and we he did his thing. We washed his hands, everything. Went outside, started walking, and he was walking a good five mm -hmm. minutes with no mask on before I realized, oh my god, Mike, where's your mask? And nobody said anything to him. Like so, I think really, yeah, it happens. Uh, Dave got busted. Yeah, yeah, I got busted, and you know it happened to us at the Polynesian. We, I think it was the morning Sunday morning. We went down to the hot tub. We walked down mm -hmm. the lobby, walked down the uh, through the. Uh, to the door, got out, walked, uh -huh. started walking down the stairs to the pool, and Veronica said, "Oh my gosh, our masks!" Neither one of us remembered to grab our masks, so we turned, mm -hmm. we had to turn, turn around, go back yeah. to the room, and get them. Yeah, yeah. So it can uh -huh. happen. There was one picture I didn't share. That was you guys did see the Winnie the Pooh cavalcade while you were yeah. at, and I wanted to put that up for Uli because Tigger said hi, Uli. Yeah, uh, <laughs> when we saw them, there were just about ready to go around uh, the, the circle there and go and go mm -hmm. away. So I sprinted, you know, and Veronica's going, run, Dave, run, because I wanted to make sure I got Tigger for Uli. And, uh, yeah. I see I see rabbits there. Rabbit's kind of a rare character, so that's pretty cool that he was there. So, mm -hmm. all right. Well, yeah. guys, um, thank you so much. It's Angie Corbett's birthday today. Happy birthday, Angie. I didn't, know birthday. That. I didn't know that. So if any of you guys oh. want to see any of uh, the, any of the birthday videos for Dave, they are on the Disney crush Facebook page. Um, he didn't want to watch them again. He's a little embarrassed. So, so you can, you can go find them on the Disney crush YouTube page and, and watch them on your, at your leisure. Um, yep. And uh, I just want to thank all of the crushers for helping to, to put uh, Dave's birthday together. Um, it was really great. And thank you guys so much. Hey, U hey, Uli, you know, it all started with a rabbit. You know that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I just hey, want to take Susan. this, uh, take a, a quick second, to, a second just to say how thankful I am mm -hmm. and Tony Ann and Veronica, we're all, and uh, Steve, everybody involved with the Disney Crush, Mike, everybody. We can't thank you guys enough. It's just been a pleasure doing this podcast for the last, I don't know, what has it been, three years now, Tony Ann? Yeah. Um, and uh, we love doing the podcast and the outpouring of love. And, I, you know, I just was taken aback so much from that. Uh, from that. Whew, I'm going to get emotional now. But, yeah, it was, it, it, was, uh, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. We had a wonderful time. I can't thank you guys enough. You guys mean the world to me. And. We've met some very, very cool friends, and thank you so Absolutely. much, you guys. I Absolutely. just love you guys yep. so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> That's for sure, Uli. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye. Love Bye. you guys. Bye. Bye.